Celebrating 17 years of Young Turks. Welcome back. You're watching our retail tech special on Young Turks. When content meets commerce, you create shoppable content. It's a trend that's helping brands reimagine digital marketing strategies. While many retail brands are still decoding how to seamlessly integrate their online shops with content, Priyanka Gill, the founder and CEO at PopExo, decided to take another approach and build content-driven commerce. Founded in 2014, PopExo started as an online community for women, has now forayed into the private label space. Megha caught up with Priyanka in the capital, where she mentioned that transforming PopExo into a content commerce startup was a logical consequence. Take a look. A lifestyle journalist, an investor and serial entrepreneur. Priyanka Gill has been the biggest cheerleader of digital content play. When she started her entrepreneurial journey, her vision was well defined. Build a go-to place for all things lifestyle, fashion and beauty that resonates with the Indian millennial women. That's how PopExo was born in 2014, later adding verticals for influencers, luxury content and now of course commerce with its private label. As of today, all platforms together attract 43 million monthly active users and Priyanka still believes that content is king or in this case, it's clearly the queen. Content is the best way and the most inexpensive way and the most effective way to acquire a large user base. Hmm. Because content allows you to create a brand, uh, build that relationship with the user. Right. Once you are able, as we have, we have 43 million monthly active users across platforms now. Once you have this large, vibrant female user base, you can pretty much uh, sell them what they're telling you that they need. Because every time a user engages with a PopExo meme, right. every time she reads a PopExo story, or she comments, or she shares, she's giving us signals about what she finds interesting in life. Let me then go ahead and ask you a question that I think all content players, including folks like us, uh, are trying to find the right answer to, which is, where's the money? All the content that you are creating might get millions of views, but you and I both know that, that those views may not always convert into real money or revenues. The way to uh, approach this is to actually look at what drives revenue, right? now. In the startup world, it's really simple. Either you raise lots of funding, which, which we have raised some, but not as much as the others, and you're able to fund your way till a point where revenue yeah. comes in. Yeah. But the way that we look at uh, things is, from the PopExo kind of way of thinking is that making money for the users is fantastic, right? We'll keep doing that. We, it grows 100% year, year on year for us. But what's even more important is making money from the user as well. Okay. So we enter the world thinking now that we have 43 million users across platforms. We know what they want. Uh, we know that there are gaps in what they want. They can't find those products easily. Yeah. Let's make and sell it to them. That's making money from the user. So media companies today, digital media companies today, have to figure out innovative ways for diverse revenue streams right. that they can create and sustain. Okay. Because it's like a layer cake approach to revenue. It has to be that. Okay. Looking at pure vanilla advertising and thinking that's going to be that's the be all and work. so that works up to a point. And then you can stack other things on top of it. All right. And you become literally a full stack player that's across the entire ecosystem for yourself. Let me focus now more on the retail side of it. Um, first off, what did your investors think when you decided uh, to just throw this curveball at them and say that, hey, while you invested in my content company, I'm going to go ahead and now create uh, real products for them? So, I mean, we are lucky to have uh, investors who trust the company and they've been us pretty much from day one. We have Chirate, which was previously IDG and Kalari, uh, Vani and Karan are on our board. And they've kind of seen the company grow pretty much as you have, right? So they've kind of seen, uh, seen us uh, become what we have. When we decided that we are going to enter the private label space, yeah. uh, it seems like a pivot, or it seems counterintuitive to most people, mm -hmm. but I think once uh, we spend time in explaining our thinking and why it's relevant to our user, mm -hmm. the millennial female user in India mm. lacks interesting brands. Okay. But this was a gap, and we had the audience, we knew what the audience wanted. Yeah. So, it's just logical to just make the products and sell it back to them. PopExo recently forayed into the beauty segment with three product categories. Skin, 
bath and body and hair Priyanka says everything starting from the product itself to even the packaging has been designed keeping Popexo's user base in mind With this launch Popexo further strengthens its position as a content commerce platform So when we spoke about revenue you mentioned that ads are going to take you till a certain point but beyond that you need to think out of the box sure. and clearly commerce is one of those uh, areas that you are looking to monetize but again that's a really crowded market do you think that's going to float the boat in the long run I think uh, the market is very very crowded especially at the marketplace level mm. but at the direct to uh, consumer level at the DTC level There are a lot of brands that are being floated right now. Right, right, and we are at that lucky space hmm. where we are entering or we are beginning our dream or our vision hmm. with a large user base already, hmm. with a fantastic marketing machine that has been in action for the past five years that hmm. knows how to launch a product, that knows how to sell a product. Right. If there was a pie chart right now, do you see the slice that says commerce? increasing and in fact becoming the majority oh, or driving sure. more that growth than are, than content absolutely that okay. is why we are any so timelines on that when do you think commerce is going to take over content at popexo we expect that to happen in the next few years so priyanka would you then stick to being a private label or going forward do you see yourself becoming a marketplace and popexo shop eventually starts listing out other local businesses and uh, their products as well is that somewhere in the plan going forward so i think you should never say never to anything in life and sure. as you very well know but for now uh, we are very very happy to be exploring the private label angle the beauty of this model is that our margins are high and our cac is very very low hmm. most e-commerce players struggle exactly to get that reach exactly yeah. yeah so for me if i have to sell this mug a story a video a meme i can do a lot of things without actually directly paying the user to buy my product which mm-hmm. is what a lot of e-commerce companies do these mm-hmm. days by marketing content commerce is the holy grail right because it cuts down customer acquisition costs dramatically would you be able to break down for us at this point uh, and and help us understand as to how much of the revenue is being driven uh, by content and how much of it is being driven uh, by commerce so uh, for us our private label is something that we launched not very long ago we pre- i think around 6 7 months into our journey right now mm-hmm. so the bulk of the revenue is still coming through content and and influencer marketing our right. second brand is flixo yeah. which is india's largest influencer marketplace we have 40000 influencers who are affiliated with us on flixo and many of them actually owe you royalty for becoming huge stars <laughs> who all started from popexo yeah, so we are really really proud that we have a bunch of very successful young women yeah who found their first home at uh, popexo and flixo popexo and uh, uh, content marketing and flixo are two strong forms of revenue for us okay and uh, yeah uh, private label commerce is coming up close second uh, you are on instagram facebook twitter um pinterest. pinterest but now there is a lot of that or users who are jumping onto platforms like share chat tiktok um how as a business then would it be for you guys to kind of find innovative ideas to sell products and not just content on platforms like TikTok or ShareChat is that a possibility or would you Honestly, look at that I think we all live in the post buzzfeed era post buzzfeed slash facebook era facebook was this marker in the sand as far as media was concerned mm. the day facebook said i'm no longer the world's news uh, the world's kind of personal uh, page but i'm the world's news feed that's when life changed for every publisher who was kind of born after that mm. we all became kind of fantastic at learning how to drive your content through a news feed right mm. now as say uh, uh, tiktok gets big for us yeah. so whichever platform that gets big for us translating our content content or selling on that platform is something that we know how to do very very well we've okay. done it successfully over so many platforms already and would popexo remain women only or is it going to uh, reach to the other side as well i think that's the one thing i can very confidently say that we're going to stay as we are right now so no never say never attitude here you know you should always create products or content for what you know best yeah For us, it's the TG that we love, the Indian millennial female. Well, Priyanka and team, here's wishing you the very best of luck.